Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter two of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of the winter festival in the bustling town square of Bergenfield. Picture this, colorful booths lining cobblestone paths, cheerful decorations fluttering in the crisp winter breeze, and a cacophony of laughter and music swirling around. But at the center of it all stands an ancient mirror, shimmering with an unsettling glow. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. This mirror is no ordinary reflection. It's said to reveal the very essence of your soul. So, buckle up as we explore the mysteries and emotions that unfold in this chapter. Let's get started. The winter festival was in full swing, but Lila Thompson couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Her curly chestnut hair bounced with each step as she felt an inexplicable pull toward the ancient mirror at the heart of the festival. It sent shivers down her spine. Beside her, Eli Ramirez, with his warm brown eyes, was caught in a tug of war between curiosity and skepticism. Old man Hargrove, with his weathered face and knowing gaze, had gathered the children around the mirror. His voice, a low rumble, cut through the festival's merriment. This mirror, he began, is not merely a reflection of your faces, but of your souls. It reveals what lies beneath the surface, the fears that haunt you. As the townsfolk danced and celebrated, the air grew heavy with tension. The mirror seemed to pulse with a life of its own, reflecting not just the joyous faces, but also the shadows lurking within their hearts. Martha Jenkins, the festival organizer, approached the mirror with a warm smile that belied the sorrow in her hazel eyes. The mirror had shown her a fleeting glimpse of her late husband, sending her heart racing with grief. Meanwhile, the children gathered closer, their reflections morphing into haunting images that echoed their deepest fears. Lila saw herself not as the vibrant artist she aspired to be, but as a shadow of doubt her insecurities laid bare. Eli's reflection twisted into a figure of disappointment, a manifestation of his family's expectations that threatened to suffocate him. The spirit bound to the mirror stirred restlessly, intertwining with the children's fears, creating a palpable tension that rippled through the crowd. Arguments erupted among the townsfolk, igniting old grudges and buried regrets. Yet, amidst the chaos, Lila's resolve hardened. She understood that the mirror was not merely a source of fear but a catalyst for growth. With a deep breath, she turned to Eli, her voice steady. We have to face this together, Eli. We can't let our fears control us. As the festival continued around them, the children stood united before the mirror, determined to confront the shadows that threatened to consume them. The spirit's sorrow lingered, but Lila felt a flicker of hope ignite within her. They would face their fears not just for themselves, but for the entire town. The night was still young, and the festival's laughter echoed in the air. Lila and Eli, their friendship tested by the mirror's revelations, found strength in each other. Together, they embraced the courage to confront their deepest fears. The mirror, once a source of dread, became a symbol of unity and resilience. The townsfolk, inspired by the children's bravery, began to see the mirror not as a curse, but as a chance for growth and understanding. And so, the winter festival continued, a celebration of not just joy, but of the courage to face the unknown.